Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together. Uh, usually I ask you to read the problem first, but I couldn't fit it all into the screen, so I'm going to read it with you. It tells us that Mr. Wallace surveyed 75 students, so we know right away, this is important in these kind of frequency tables, these two-way frequency tables, that we understand the total number of students we're dealing with, in this case 75. And he's trying to find out what their favorite place is to eat lunch. And here are the results in this two-way table. So first of all, let's just read what this says, right? This says, notice we have on this side, we have boys and girls, right? So we're splitting it by boys and girls. And then either cafeteria or outside, and we're looking at those two variables. And then there are these two totals, a column of totals and a row of, row of totals. So let's make sense of this. Um, so first of all, um, we've got how many boys that like the cafeteria. So we match it, right? We look at boys in the row and cafeteria on the column. So this 16 right here, this tells me there are 16 boys who prefer the cafeteria. There are 21 boys who prefer the outsides. That's how we read our two-way there, the intersection of boys and outside. And there are 37 boys in total out of the 75. The girls, 24 of them prefer the cafeteria, while 14 prefer to go outside. And there are 38 girls in total. And then finally, our totals here on the bottom, we have the total 40 that prefer the cafeteria, and 35 that prefer outside, and of course, the total amount that prefer, uh, excuse me, the total in the survey is 75. So which table here shows uh, the appropriate frequencies? So I'm going to pull up the answer. I'm going to scroll down. These are the four choices. You might want to pause the video here and try it on your own, and then resume it when you're ready to talk to me about it. Okay, so let me jump ahead. The, the answer here is B. Let's talk about why that is. Oops. I guess apparently I can't copy that. Let me just go back here. Okay. So I'm going to just move this up so we can just see it side by side. All right. So what's going on here? Um, okay. So each of these um, values are now re replaced with percents. First of all, I, I think what stands out is that we have to have 100% in this location, right? Because that's the total, right? 75 out of 75 is 100%. And in fact, every calculation on here is based on this total. How many out of 75? So of course, to solve this one, we could say, okay, there's 75 people right, in the survey, and to, in, in total, out of 75, what does that equal out of 100 if we were solving any proportion? And 75 over 75 is just one, and x divided by 100 is one, so x equals 100%. All right, so we could solve this using a proportion. Uh, and everything builds, again, from there uh, out of 75. So if we go back here, let's talk about why there's 21% in this spot. Well, there are 21% of uh, boys that prefer the cafeteria. What does that mean? Excuse me, 21% of the total, right, who are boys and prefer the cafeteria. That's what this is telling us. In other words, this calculation is coming from, we take the 16 boys who, pref who prefer the cafeteria, and divide it by 75, right? And if you round this out, it's about 21%, right? And you can do the calculation using a proportion there. And then as we go to, and I'll show one in detail, I'll show one of the last ones. Um, over here in this spot, let's talk about why there's 32%. Well, there are 24 girls, right, who prefer the cafeteria, and 24 out of 75 out of the total is 32%. And then over here, notice that we can just now add these two percents to get 53, right? Because 53% of the total population prefers uh, the cafeteria. So it's nice that we can just at that point add these two values. Um, so let's look at uh, boys who prefer outside. The reason we get 28% there is because we're taking the 21 boys who prefer the outside and dividing it by the total, 75. So that's really 21 over 75. Right, and 21 over 75. If you yeah, estimate that, it's 28 uh, percent. Let's do 19 percent in detail so you can see what this looks like. Let's scroll over here. So probably one of the friendliest ways of dealing with this is set up a proportion. So let's assume we don't know the answer is 19 percent. We know that there are how many? 14 girls who prefer to go outside, and we're saying what is that out of 75? So I'll show this in two different ways. 14 out of 75 is a decimal. If we calculate that and multiply it by 100, that gives us our percent. So that's one strategy. Let's try that one first. So 14 out of 75 gives us our, dec our decimal. 
multiply it by 100, and we can see it's about 18 and 2 thirds, or 0.6666. This happens just rounding. 0.666 is 2 thirds, so it's 18 and 2 thirds percent. But here we're approximating their approximate relative frequencies. So here we're going to get about 19% which is exactly what we see here. Now, if you don't like that strategy, another one you might use is to set up a proportion. 14 out of 75 is equal to what? Out of 100, right? Percents at or out of 100. If we solve for x in this one, I'm essentially going to multiply both sides by 100. So here, or you can think of it as cross multiplication. 100 times 100, that's just 100 divided by 100, excuse me, it's just one that cancels out. If you multiply our left side by 100, we get 14 times 100, or 1400, divided by 75, and this is our percent. This is our value out of 100. So we, do, we take 1400, right, and we divide it by 75. And there you can see it's the same. It's 18 and 2 thirds, or about, squiggles, about 19%. So 19% of the total population are girls that prefer to go outside. And then to fill it in from there, We've got 47% here. Why? Because that tells us the total amount that like to go outside. That's this column is right here. We can also read by rows. If you add the total amount of boys in the cafeteria and outside, you get 49%. It tells you there's 49% of the population are boys. If you read this row right here, 32 plus 19 is 51. 51% 51 of the population are girls. And that's where the two-way frequency comes up. If you read it by columns here, Right, what you get is uh, the total amount like the cafeteria, then the total amount in percentages like, like the outside. If you read it by rows, you get the total amounts in gender, and then always in this spot, you have the absolute total of everything. So I'm going to scroll back down to all four choices. I'm going to circle B, that was the answer here. Right, and if you could, you might take some time to go through the other examples to see where the mistakes are. All right, thanks.